So Liz, where is this tribe right now? Because for a moment, you were all together as individuals, but then now you're back into two groups, yeah. and it's a small group. I actually am really excited that we're split into two groups. For my game, I made a lot of friendships and connections on both sides. So for the individual game, if you're in the right spot, you're in a good spot tonight, no matter what happens. Charlie, what do you read into that answer? It's a very interesting comment. I find it fitting for a person who's in here with four of their former tribe mates. There's a little bit more comfort where Liz is sitting. For me, you get divided onto a tribe where you're the odd tribe out and the only person vulnerable on that tribe. It's like I have a big red target painted on my forehead. Soda, can you appreciate how that might feel? Might be accurate, might not be. Yeah, I can, I can, like, I mean, it was, I felt it for him and I, like, I, I don't think there's any way kind of around it as much as, like, I adore him as a person. It's kind of clear where the numbers really are, so. But, Tevin, we've also reached a new phase of the game where it's not always that simple. That's true, but, I mean, just last Tribal Council, you heard the kind of division between the two tribes still, and I don't know if people are necessarily willing to let down the tribal lines right now, and they are still trying to play a tribe game because they're scared that one tribe may pick off the other. Venus, where do you sit? The easy vote would be for the four of you to stick together and take out Charlie, and there's not really anything he could do other than maybe he has some power in the game where he could play a shot in the dark. Exactly what you said, Jeff. It's a, it's a pretty easy vote, but um, unlike Soda, I feel like my butt is more on the line because it's no real secret here that the other night Charlie wrote my name down. So if anyone here really has to be worried, it's me. Maria. If you want to try to take somebody out, six people is a great opportunity because there's nowhere to hide. Um, I'm gonna paint a picture for you. Mm. You're having a party. You get gussied up and you put on like your favorite red necklace and you wait for your guests to come and maybe they don't come. So no one approached you? It's not that nobody approached me. It just didn't feel like I had the power. It just kind of felt like, you know, maybe they stayed for a little bit, but not too long. I'm sorry you got all gussy up. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't bring my bag tonight. I am staying Nami strong. That's that, ready to go back to the fire and get warm. I mean, that is a lot of confidence. Soda, is that just the luxury that comes with having the numbers? Yeah, it's like the luxury of having four Nami right now. You know, like, that's the thing. That's the big stake on the plate right now. All right, then. It is. Time to vote. Liz, you're up. All right, I'll read the votes. First vote, Soda. Venus, one vote Soda, one vote Venus. Venus, two votes Venus, one vote Soda. Soda, we're tied. Two votes Venus, two votes Soda. Soda, that's three votes Soda. Two votes Venus, one vote left. Eighth person voted out and the first member of our jury. Soda, need to bring me your torch? Wow. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> I did not see that coming at all. You played an amazing game, Soda. Oh man, so fun. I love you. I love all you guys. It's really hard. <laughs> we love you, Soda. <laughs> Soda, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> Time for you to go. <laughs> Name's Soda.